Let's rock and roll. Fighthype.com here with the special one. Kel Brook Found in it. New York. Brook in Brooklyn. Brook in Brooklyn. Well, technically, we're not in Brooklyn. We are in Manhattan, right across. Well, we're close to Madison Square Garden, right? Very close. Very close. But you went to Brooklyn the other day, right? I had actually been. I no? I been yet. No, no, no. I'm going. We're mm -hmm. supposed to go. Yeah. But we're going to go tomorrow. How, how many times have you come out here to New York? Come out a few times. Yeah? We've come out a few times, yeah. You got any rituals, any places you like to go hit up and see? Junior's restaurant or anything like that? I don't know. There's that, that, many, that many places you can go. I mean, it's, a, that, it's an okay. It's a New York thing to do, I guess. Yeah. They have good cheesecake if you like cheesecake. We want to go down to Queens, come into America. Queen. <laughs> <laughs> McDowell's. McDowell's. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what's up. Well, what are, what are you doing here in New York? I'm here to see a world class fighter in mm. Crawford. Mm. And obviously, he's been fighting me, I can't. Mm. So uh, I'm very excited. I'm out here to, uh, I believe that Crawford's going to win the fight. And I, I'm basically out here because I, I want to I want fight Crawford. Mm. I believe he's. he's Probably up there, one of pound for pound, pound for pound, top fighters out there in the world now, and I believe that I'm a top welterweight, and I know that he will fight any, you know, top dog out there. He's fighting, you know, he's being shouting Spence out and all these, but obviously they're with, uh, you know, with Al, mm -hmm. and I'm here, and uh, I'm I'm ready to I'm ready to go. I think the key word that you said right now was welterweight, so. Does that mean 147? No problem. I mean, you look in great shape right now. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm good. You know, I think, I believe I've talked to my nutritionist in Greg and, he, you know, he says that, you know, we can do well to weight. You know, so, them big fights and Crawford's, he's got the title. And, uh, you know, I think it's a great fight for the fans. Either switch it or he, he, he can punch, he can box, like myself. And I think with the fans, you know, after he's, he's dealt with Khan, I believe he'll deal with Khan. You know, we're gonna we're gonna see Saturday night, but you know, I think me and Crawford is the fight what the fans, you know, I believe I'm gonna win. I don't just think I'm just gonna go there for a payday and just, you know, I'm gonna go in there to beat the guy, you know, and there's only been two guys what's you know, what's I've got two blemishes on my record and you know, I he got stopped, you know, with with the eye injuries mm -hmm. in Golovkin and Spence and you know, even Spence has said said many times, you know, I can punch very hard. You know, I'm the best fighter I've been in with, and you know, they can't roll wrong for that. I don't want to go down that line, but I was beating the guy, you mm -hmm. know, and I couldn't see after six, seven rounds. So I believe with a, you know, with with the, with a top, with a top trainer, a top, you know, a top training camp, and I believe that I can, I can beat these will, you know, all people think and say of the world, will best pound for pound. I still believe that I'm the best. Do you think people, I don't want to say take it for granted, but just kind of forget the fact that your only two losses were to Golovkin and Errol Spence, and, and, and one of those was you jumping up in, in weight. So yeah. do, you, do you think people kind of downplay that and, and, and forget people about that? People do, you know. People don't give me the credit I deserve, you know. I'm an elite, elite, you know, world-class fighter. You know, it's, uh, you know I've shown it, and uh, I, I want to show it. With the guys what what are about today, you know, in Crawford, you know, even Paul, you know, he's got the green belt. I took the red belt off him. Mm. You know, I can take the green belt belt off him. Be like traffic lights, with these color different colored belts, and take them all. <laughs> we take over. You know, I'm like I say, you give me that, give me that opportunity. I'll beat these guys what stood in front of me, and then I'm back at the number one spot again, like I were when when I, you know, not too, too long ago when I was IBF champion. When did you kind of decide, you know what, I think I might want this Terrence Crawford fight? Because I think there was some talk about you possibly fighting on Anthony Joshua's card. Did, well, did you change your mind? That's exactly what, you know, what it's come down to. I'm at a stage where, you know, I didn't have no opponent, you know, and I just can't be, I can't really get up for these fights what are not meaningful, you know, and I decided that, you know, I want to establish, I want to leave my legacy there behind me where, I fight the best out there, you know, I don't need no one what fights, I've had, I can jump in. It's like, you know, Leonard, when he had all that time out, he came back and boxed Agler. Mm. You know, I'm an elite will, you know, world champion, and so I believe that, you know, give me, give me 12 weeks and I'm beating you, I'm beating these guys. Is it, is it difficult to, 
get up for any other fights than than the big fights now at this point in your career? You know, once you've been in with you know when when you know the world champion fighting the you know the the, the Golovkin out there, you know, and uh, being in with these fighters and then back to back a box Spence who everybody's shouting out from America, you know, it's when you've been at that level and you've walked in ten arenas and the atmosphere where you've been involved with, mm. you know, it's hard to get up for some 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 zaf zafras and. And these and these Rabchenko kind of guy, he's actually hard to get up for, you know. And uh, you know the best. To, I always perform better and extremely, extremely better when I'm when I'm in when I've got that fear factor when I'm when I'm thinking about the guy all the time when I'm thinking what's you know I'm I'm going through it you know in training camp weeks and months you know before and when I get in there you know I'm 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 so ready. You know, that's why we get the best out because I'm obviously in front of a, an elite fighter. That's what I was going to ask you is if, if you felt like it affected your performances if you weren't fighting, you know, a big name or something like that. Do you feel like you may have fought down yeah, to the competition? Yeah, fought down. I mean, sometimes performance can look as great, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm thinking, uh, you know, people ask me about I me mean, just because over my head I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not 100%, you know, in the build-up for, the, for these fights. I need to have that fear factor. I need to know that I'm in with someone what's gonna, you know, can really hurt me, and you know, and um, and like I said, I always perform the very best when I'm in with these top fighters, mm. and uh, you know, you see something spectacular, and I, I still wanna, I still wanna give that to the fans. I still want, you know, because here we are, you know, the Crawfords, the these, these Paws, the these Errol Spencers, these other, the these Thurmans. These these guys out there, and I want to be. I'm, I should be amongst the bunch where everybody, you know, is is mentioned at the end of the, on this on the same line. Yeah, yeah. Uh, talk to me about the fight itself this weekend, Crawford and Amir Khan. I mean, obviously, you, we know you think Crawford's going to win already, but how do you see that fight playing out? I mean, is is it going to be a competitive fight for? You know, however long it lasts, is it yeah. not going to be competitive? I think it's going to be competitive. You know, I believe. You know, I've been reading Amir Khan's body languages with the odd clips here and there. And I believe in his mind, he's he, you know he's he just come for the for the for the paycheck. You know, mm. I don't believe that he believes he can win. Um, but I do think that he you know he fights on fear, he fights on adrenaline, and I think for five four or five rounds, you know, it, it's going to be hard to, for any fighter out there to to be to be Amir Khan for four or five rounds. Cause he's got very very fast hands. He's you know he's got he's got like fast feet. He runs around the ring, you know. But I think once the you know if you've got an elite uh, fighter in there, you know it's just a matter of time before the timing comes. You work the guy, you work Amir out, and then you start you, you start breaking him down. Mm. And I think it's just a matter of time after five rounds that he gets he gets took out. Wow! After five. After five, I believe that oh. it's gonna it's gonna start unraveling. Mm. It's gonna start, it's gonna start coming to bit, start making mistakes, and he's gonna get punished by Crawford. You think he's gonna get stopped? Yeah. Wow. I do. Wow. I mean, he did get put down in his last yeah. fight too. Yeah, Sammy <laughs> Vargas, actually, a good friend of mine. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I, was, I had him in, in for sparring for that for that fight, mm -hmm. for my last fight, and uh, he's a good guy. He, and he, he caught Khan with with the right hand over the top, put him down. Yeah. Did you guys Did you guys talk about that fight? Talked about it. Yeah. What did he say? What did Sam say? He just says, says "Well, you know, he's he's got his he's brittle around. He's got his, you know around the chin." Wow. You know, but um, can you tell as a fight? Like, can you tell if you catch someone as a fighter, and they go down? Can Can you tell like you know, oh, yeah, his chin's a little soft? Not just if you get put down with a shot, but if you get if you get in clip with shot, mm. and he's obviously he's got Bambi legs like Khan, you know he's he's all over the shot, you know, and he's it's it's renowned out there that you know he can't he can't take the biggest shot, and uh, it's just that's his makeup, you know that's how he been that's how he is. You can't you can't you can't put muscle on your chin, and you can't you can't take a shot, you know, and if he gets caught clean, he's he's getting dealt with. I actually think the best thing you said about that was you mentioned his legs, and and I feel like that's something that is is underrated. A lot of a lot of you know casual fans, people people don't understand how important legs are and and, and your footwork and this that and the other. It, it, when when you look at Amir Khan, is is that one of the things you spotted right away? I'm not talking about now or recently, but just back in the day, you know, because you guys sparred a long time ago, right? A long time ago, yeah. 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 So I mean, have you always noticed that you know, man, this dude's legs, he's unsteady and. Not so, yeah, I've noticed. You know, he gets excited and he, 
he, he chucks his shots and he falls in with his shots with his legs and you know it's you know you just, you just see, you see that you know to, you know a fighter can just see that watching him yeah you know and uh, that's just what he does he gets a bit excited mm. at times and if he gets caught with a shot he, he automatically thinks that he can he stays there and tries to trade mm. and you know a top fighter will just finish it yeah yeah so